Hey guys, welcome back. It's Josh with the Financial Advisor Car Guy. So this week I wanted to talk to you about concept cars. Um, part of the reason for that is it's just been one of the things that for whatever reason, um, I've been seeing a lot of on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, those kind of things. And so I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about how there's been a lot of changes in how concept cars are unveiled, right? Once upon a time, it used to be such that, you know, the big auto manufacturers in Detroit would build their concept cars. They maybe would take an image and post it in the newspaper or in a magazine. Um, maybe the news would catch wind of it and there'd be a picture of it somewhere. Um, that kind of progressed into uh, bigger stages, right? Think about uh, in the 60s, the Mustang was unveiled at the World Fair. Um, fast forward to more present day. And you've got guys like Elon Musk bringing the Cybertruck to our world and doing it through an online video, right? A live stream. So how cars have, have been publicly announced has changed a lot over time. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, the other thing that really brought this to the forefront in my mind was late last week, I was at my office. Um, my day was done. I had to get going. We had some dinner plans. So I closed up my office, I got my truck. As I go to start my truck, I just, I glance over out of the, whatever, for whatever reason, my peripheral vision. And I see a completely black and white camoed car poking out just a little bit uh, between another vehicle and kind of the curb on the other side. <clears throat> so I didn't think a whole bunch of it, but I was kind of staring there, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. I snapped a quick picture and posted it on TikTok and just said, hey, help me help me identify this. Um, well, two seconds later, another car moved. And anyway, the long and short of it was I was able to drive around the parking lot and take a look at it. And I'm gonna insert that video here now. And what you're seeing is a new Chevy Z06 Corvette. Um, pretty cool. I, I don't dislike it. Now in the camo, it's, it's hard to see, you know, if you can, if you can imagine, I just saw the front bumper and kind of the driver front headlight. Um, so from where my truck was parked, it was really difficult to determine what it was, but you could see Velcro strips on there where there used to be blacked out, you know, plastic or, or tarps and things that would cover the body lines and whatnot. And now they're publicly driving it in just its camo. Um, but they didn't remove any of the Velcro strips or any of that stuff. So that makes me think that it does indeed belong to General Motors. Uh, and it is one of their test mules that they're just putting miles on. They're just driving them. And that's pretty unusual. I mean, I live way out on the West Coast uh, from Michigan. That's quite the trek. That's a lot of different terrain that they had to drive through, depending on the seasons and whatnot. I mean, right now it's summer, so it's not a big deal. But, you know, in the wintertime, it would be really challenging to get a car from Detroit, Michigan to Central Oregon. Um, but all that to say, you know, 10 years ago, we never would have seen a test car out this way ever, 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 ever. You know, they maybe would truck it. They'd put it in a semi and truck it where they want to go. They would test it in an area, put it back in the semi and send it back home. Today, these cars are not treated that way. They are literally driven to the destination, tracked or or put through whatever rigorous tests they have um, and then commute around to them, whatever they're doing. I mean, it was like they're at a restaurant. <laughs> My office is right next door to a restaurant. So whoever was driving that car stopped for dinner. I mean, it was, it was that kind of thing. And um, so anyway, I had to go. I wanted to stick around and talk to the guy. I really would have liked to have like heard the engine, maybe filmed a quick video of that, uh, sat in it, or at least looked through the windows a little closer. Um, but you know, but all that to say there are, there've been other recent, semi-recent occurrences of similar types of things. So a buddy of mine ran into a Rivian pickup for the first time about a year ago, uh, here in central Oregon, it was driving around, same story. Uh, he ran into it in a parking lot and it wasn't, it was a production model. It was done. It was not in camo. It was in a factory, like forest green color, um, he was able to stop and talk to the guy and all the things. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of something like that here. 
And then I had another friend out in Boise, Idaho, tell me the same thing. Uh, he messaged me and said, guess what I saw today? You know, same, same kind of story. I ran into a Rivian and it was awesome. They're not out yet, but here's a picture of it. You know, so it's cool to see these kind of cars out and about before they're actually released to the public. Um, you know, again, every auto manufacturer does it a little bit differently. Some like the publicity, the buildup, the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about Tesla again, you know, Elon tweets at all hours of the day and, and, and all the things. And so every time he has a new model coming out or every time he has a, you know, I'll talk about the Cybertruck specifically, um, that was a big to do, right? I mean, there were, I don't know how many orders, pre-orders, and they don't have a product yet, but that... Uh, Cybertruck has driven around the Gigafactory in Texas. I've seen YouTube videos and pictures of it. Um, so they've got one or two or more working demo vehicles, but for the most part, eh, you know, he's kept that really under wraps. Um, I did see a, a Jay Leno video where he's riding with Elon in the Cybertruck uh, through downtown LA, through LA. So, I mean, again, they're out there. And if you're in the right place at the right time, you may get to see something cool like that. But the Z06 Corvette is something special because it is the first um, of what it is. I mean, the C8 obviously being a mid-engine Corvette was the first of its kind. Uh, the Z06 is gonna be massively better. Um, basically, they're fixing everything that people complained about as well as uh, giving it more horsepower, You know, lightening the chassis a little bit, uh, making things stronger, more rigid, all the things. And so it's gonna be a much better, better car. Um, as the Z06 would be to the regular Stingray or the regular base model anyway. Um, so seeing one live in the flesh before they're out is, is pretty cool. I mean, again, I didn't get to talk to the guy. I didn't get to hear it. Um, I really would have liked to, but at the end of the day, it was just kind of a neat experience. And I wanted to share that with you guys just to let you know that those kind of things are out there, right? Uh, you, you never know where you're going to be, where you're going to see one. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what other opportunities there are to see those kind of things other than at car shows. Uh, this past weekend, there was a um, overland type of uh, expo here at our fairgrounds. Uh, so a buddy of mine was there and he got to see the new Hummer EV, right? So here's a picture of that. Um, but the, the Hummer EV is, is gonna be awesome. Uh, it's got all sorts of features that no other vehicle has or, or they're brand new or uh, they're trying to refine it and, and make it more of a luxury thing. Um, you know, they're, they're probably close to being delivered if they haven't been started yet. I don't, I don't know. I didn't research that real quick, but I do know that there were like three of them out there. Uh, I think LeBron James has had one for quite some time now. Um, you know, so, so there's a couple of people that get special treatment, that get those kind of things ahead of time. Fine. Whatever. If I'm LeBron James and I can buy a Hummer from GM early, cool. <laughs> Whatever. Um, shoot, maybe that was him in the Z06. I'm sure it was not, but who knows? It could have been somebody like that who who knows a guy or had an inside track and was able to buy a concept, you know, uh, demo test car. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, I've actually never wondered until now, right now, as I'm speaking to you guys, I don't know what they do with those test cars when they're all said and done. Um, I mean, like I said, they're, they're all mocked up with Velcro strips and stuff everywhere. They're painted or wrapped or whatever they are with you know that camo that's kind of disruptive to the eyes and that's the idea is it's supposed to kind of mask what you're seeing um but i don't know i don't know what that looks like so maybe you do share it with me let me know comment down below tell me what you think that they do with these concept cars and with these test mule cars and with these early production cars that are just put through the rigorous tests of you know, day, daily drivability and, and off-road capabilities and all those things, you know, do they beat the crap out of them and then recycle them or do they sell them or do they, what do they do with them? So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know the answer. It's not rhetorical. I, I don't know the answer. So if you do, please share because I'd be curious to know. Uh, but more than that, you know, that's all I got for you this week. I just wanted to kind of walk you through my recent endeavor and, and kind of share with you how, how cool it was because again, I... I've never seen a concept car like that on the public road. I've seen things similar, maybe not with the camo wrap and the vinyl uh, or the Velcro and all that stuff. Never seen something like that. But early production cars or pre-production cars and those kind of things, you see them in movies, you see them on TV, you see them at different events and things, but you never see them just driving down the road. 
So it was pretty cool. Wanted to share it. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like always, like, subscribe, comment down below, share, all the things. I appreciate you very, very much. But make sure that you remember every investment you make, be a good one. Till next time.